sweet gum tree. I'm getting ready to make our sweet gum tincture. So these are my sweet gum balls. I'm gonna make my tincture for the winter. So the sweet gum balls, a lot of people, well, you can make crafts and stuff with them, but a lot of people don't like them because they hurt when you step on them. But sweet gum balls are very protective. And I'm going to be making a virus tincture. It helps with uh, viruses. So I'll be prepared next winter. Um, I'm going to crush these up. I'll come back on here after I've got them crushed. And then we're going to put them in a jar. And we're going to put some alcohol on them and let them sit for about six to eight weeks. Maybe six weeks. And then we're going to strain it off. And um, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just smashing them with a hammer to get them um, broke apart. And I'm putting them in my jar. Okay, so here's my jar that's filled up where I've smashed them. And so now I'm going to fill it up with some alcohol. Let me go get that. So you want to get alcohol that's as, as high as you can get it. I know there's the 151 Everclear. This is 100 proof um, vodka. And I'm going to fill the jar up. Okay, so now my jar is filled up. I'm going to cap it and um, put it in a cool place for about 6 to 8 weeks. I'm going to mark it so I'll put the date on there so I know when I did it. And then we'll revisit this when it's finished. Okay, so there we go. I've got it marked, and we're going to talk in a minute about the sweet gum tincture. So, like I was saying about the sweet gum balls, um, they're very protective. They have seeds inside of them, and that's why they grow like they do to protect things from getting in there and getting to those seeds you see how they the ends curve they're very protective they're also good for protection around your home i have some hanging at my home i also have some um in my healing room Okay, so I'm going to show you what the sweet gum tincture looks like. It's very dark, black colored, and that's the color of the sweet gum tincture.